Hey guys, this is going to be a demo video of various cues and different tempos and styles um, crossfading between each other. And they're not going to jump to each other. They are going to jump, but they're not going to be in time because they're in various tempos. And what they're going to do is they're going to crossfade between each other. This is a very common technique in video game and interactive music. I think a lot of games usually use this sort of technique. Um, most games don't really require much um, interactive audio. I mean, it makes a game really interesting and really immersive. But usually some more simple games use this basic technique. So what I have here is your field music. And from this field, this is sort of an imaginary scenario I made up. This isn't actually in a game I worked on. This is just something, a demo project I made just to show you guys. So what this is, is this field music. And from the field, you can enter a shop, or you can trigger um, a random battle. Just like in, um, let's say, Final Fantasy series, or in Pokemon, when you're in the grass, and you can run into a you know, Pokemon, or in Final Fantasy, you just like uh, run into an enemy. So basically, that's what it is. You, have, you can enter a shop, and you can trigger a battle. And what I have here is I have two shop tunes, so I guess two different types of shops you can enter. And I have three different battles. I have one type of battle that's uh, pretty intense, uh, a little more intense, and then I have a boss battle. Uh, what else I have here? I have uh, victory and losing loops, and I also have a loop that happens after you win. So there's a fanfare that you win, and then there's music at the summary screen of pretty much, let's say, your score or your inventory when you, you can get items from your from winning. Let's see what else I have here. Of course I have losing. I also have something here that's like uh, when you pick up an item that's really important. So like in Zelda, when you open a chest and you find a rare item in the chest, it triggers some sort of music cue. So that's in there too. I also have music when you level up while you're in battle. So like in Pokemon, for example, let's say your Pokemon levels up. I think in, I don't know if it applies to Pokemon, but let's say your Pokemon levels up during the battle and it'll play this sort of fanfare to, you know, when you level up, it'll play the fanfare. So let's just listen to this um, field music. And before we actually start, sorry, um, I gave each of these cues its own knob. So each knob pretty much is just like, cue this one, cue this knob. There's no one knob to control where it goes. So it's a little bit more simple. You can just, like, if you want to trigger a shop, you just use the shop two knob. Or you can use a shop one knob, or you can trigger battle. There's battle one, two, boss. Anyways, let's just go ahead and listen to this uh, field music. Right now that we played that, let's see if we can go into a shop. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shop knob all the way up. And then when we're done in the shop, we'll go back outside to the field. And as you notice, it didn't jump to it right away. It actually crossfaded between each other. So let me show you an example of why it's doing that instead of just jumping. So here's an example I made really quick for just jumping. Let's see. It's going to go to the shop. It's going to be pretty abrupt and can kind of ruin the immersion. It's really abrupt. And let's see what happens. I think we're in the shop music here. And then now going back. All right. Now let's see where else we can go. Where else we can go from the field. Let's go to shop number two.
And of course, you can't trigger a battle inside the shop. So the only places the shop music can go is back to the meadow, back to the field. So let's go back. All right, so now this is fun. Let's go trigger a battle, a random encounter. And so now we're in the battle. The only places we can go is the victory music, the losing music, and the leveling up music. So let's see what happens when we level up within a battle. it's going to go right back to that battle loop if you keep the battle loop uh, knob on. So let's see what happens when you lose. So this is like, uh, hey, you lose. Do you want to continue? This can only go back to the field music if the player chooses to. This will actually loop forever until the player decides to do something. So let's actually trigger it back to go back to the field. And now we're back again. Uh, I guess maybe it reverted back to a checkpoint or to your last save. But anyways, you're back on the field. So let's actually go to the second battle. Let's trigger a random encounter again. Okay, so now let's talk about what happens when you win. So let me briefly just talk about what's going to happen. So what's going to happen is you're going to defeat the enemy, and there's going to be a victory fanfare, and then you're going to be stuck on a screen that shows you all the stuff that you won. And the thing is about that screen, you can be on that screen forever. The thing is about a fanfare though, fanfare only happens like say, there's a thing on the screen that says, hey you won, and that can't really loop forever. So then there's kind of music that plays afterwards. So let's go to that, um, let, and let's pretend that the player is spending a lot of time on that screen with all of uh, all the stuff that they won. So let's go ahead and trigger the winning, and then it's going to play the music after the fanfare. Now this music can go on and on forever until the player decides to either quit or go back. And from here it can only go back to the field music. So let's actually let it loop one more time and I can show you when I trigger um, going back to the field, that's as if a player decided to continue. So watch it go back when I, after I trigger the knob. So going back to what I said, there's also, um, other than these two battles, actually there's three battles, two shops, and I also have this item found. So let's trigger the special item found. And by the way, you can only trigger the item found while you're in the field. Let's do it one more time. And last but not least, there is a boss battle, so let's trigger that.
then, of course, you have to have epic choirs, just because. And let's actually win this battle, okay? Let's let's see what happens when we win. And like I said, this is going to repeat forever until the player does something. And that's it for the uh, demo on my various cues. I hope you stay tuned for more. I will actually be uploading a tutorial of this, even though it's a little simple. Um, it doesn't really use anything that we talked about before other than setting up the basic uh, layout of your project. But it does get a little bit tricky when you talk about crossfading and how to program that. So that'll be in the tutorial video and we'll be looking at this project again. And also if you're kind of confused, there are other example videos I have. There are other demos that show off other techniques used in FMOD. So I suggest you guys check that out before you watch the tutorial video of this one. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And then